Most traders have heard of the adage, trade with the trend. But what trend? Today's trend over the last 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, the last day, or the last week, or the last month? We try to simplify this for new traders and experienced traders alike by showing you every time frame trend. We tend to focus on the weekly and monthly trends when they line up. So you can see that when you sort this by weekly trend, the Euro dollar and New Zealand dollar have the strongest weekly trend, and the monthly trend is also both up in those currencies, and the daily trends up as well. What this means is we want to look for buys in these strongest currencies. Conversely, we want to look for sells in the weakest currencies, the dollar CAD and the dollar Swiss. The dollar CAD also was an NR7 pattern the previous day, which means it's more likely, typically, to trend the next day, which would be today. So we want to sell the dollar CAD and dollar Swiss. We want to look for buys in the Euro dollar and New Zealand dollar. Here we have the Euro dollar chart. Mostly we focus on buys when the price is above the gray hourly moving average. When it's above there, it typically goes up, and when it's underneath the hourly, it typically goes down. Our IntelliTrend shows the real-time trend right on the candle. When it's dark green, it's very strong. When it's light red, it's just slightly weak. When it's uh, just mildly green, it's strong, but not super strong. We also show the intensity of trend. Anytime these levels hit the 20 line and higher, it shows extreme strength. Typically what happens is price will tend to continue in that direction. The gray level is a predetermined Fibonacci level that I manually draw on all the major charts each night and that show up on your charts. These levels typically make excellent profit targets and they also can be used for counter trend trades. As you can see it hit that level almost to the pip and then reversed. But basically because this was one of the strongest currencies we were looking to buy it. When it broke above the previous month's high that's a sign of strength. You might have bought this pullback right here. You might have bought this pullback here once it proved to you it couldn't go back into last month's range. And then whenever you saw extreme strength like that you either bought the pullback here or when it finally broke out over that level uh, you got in with this as your profit target. Let's look at the next one. Here's the New Zealand dollar, also a very strong currency. One of the methods that we teach in looking for buys at the bottom of strong currencies is to draw the Fibonacci levels on the chart. You draw the Fibonacci levels off the last swing, and typically at our lower containment bands, price tends to stall and reverse. So when it hit a Fibonacci profit target, traders that were short were looking to get out, plus bottom fishers were trying to buy this because you can see the weekly monthly trend which is down here is up and so traders are looking to buy the bottoms. Also our counter trend signals were giving buy signals uh, as well as you can see right here, 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 here. Anytime the longer term trend is up that's typically a decent place to look for trades uh, to buy when the market's longer term trend is up. Fibonacci profit target again predicted and drawn by me the night before and the market stalled at this level. It doesn't always stall at this level. Uh, sometimes it shoots through it and may go another 30, 50, or 100 pips above that. So be very careful anytime you look to do a counter trend trade at these levels, but primarily Fibonacci levels uh, make excellent profit targets uh, because you'll find the majority of the time the market stalls and oftentimes reverses there. But if you knew ahead of time, like our traders did today, that this was the second strongest weekly trend and maybe third strongest monthly trend and you know you want to look to buy at the low if there's not that much statistical weakness or any time a counter trend buy signal came in underneath the bars let's look at some of the weakest currencies the dollar swiss and the dollar cad were the weakest pairs this currency started the day off uh, falling back underneath the hourly moving average which is one of our criteria we would prefer to sell this currency when it's underneath the hourly and you can see on the way up last night that it, there was really no statistical strength whatsoever down here and once it failed to go higher came back underneath the hourly you could have looked to sell here's the previous week's low and the previous day's lows uh, support area where there could be some buying come in and there was it did go up about 10 pips and so whether you got short right here and out 
and then the market kind of consolidated and broke underneath the previous week's low and previous day's low. If you got short again here, uh, that's fine. You have a lot of counter trend buy signals coming in and the market's hitting our lower containment band, which frequently is the end of the down move. But even so, you started the day off knowing that this was one of the weakest currencies and therefore more likely to go down than up. And when the real-time tools confirm that the trend is down, you look for sales. Now this wasn't the best example of that because once the market made this nice size move, it went up a little bit. If you sold here, you didn't make much or you might have lost. You know, it kind of chopped around here. There really was no statistical strength on the way up. Uh, here it made a down move with more weakness than strength. And so at that point, you know, usually you want to look for sales again. And it made a, you know, small move here. The dollar CAD was really one of the better currencies to trade because not only is the weekly monthly trend down in this, but it also was an NR7 pattern the previous day, which means basically yesterday it didn't move much, as you can see on the chart. Very low volatility pattern. Typically, currencies that don't move much one day will tend to move more the next day. Um, and we know that this is a longer term trend that's down. The weekly and monthly trend is down. So you could use our counter trend sell signals to look for shorts. You know, here fell a little bit, here fell about 20 pips. This one was a little bit early here. And then the market came up to the 10 day moving average up here, yesterday's previous day's high. And when it failed to break out, and and you can see down here, it did not have that much statistical strength. So when the longer term trends down and the currency is going up today, that's a decent place to sell. Also, the last swing up was from here to here. If you drew your fibs on there, notice it went really only a pip beyond the 1.618 Fibonacci profit target. That's how we use Fibonacci profit targets to find entries in the counter trend method in the direction of the longer term trend. You know, the counter trend intraday trend was up, stalled here without much statistical strength, hit the Fibonacci profit target. Our counter trend signals, there were three of them within a five minute period that gave the added, you know, insight of a possible trend reversal. Obviously these don't always work, but as you can see, anytime the counter trend signals show up uh, when the longer term trend is down, you have a much higher odds of the trend continuing. You also knew coming into today that this currency did not move much the day before and therefore it's more likely to trend today. Now once this currency started falling, uh, you might have got out of that first trade here when it went sideways. Uh, and once it broke that level, you wanted to go short again. You always want to draw your Fibonacci levels on here. And the 1.38 to 1.618 Fibonacci profit target of this swing makes an excellent area to look to get out of your trend, trend trade. And you can see it hit this level. Counter trend signal, uh, two of them actually hit here as well went up 20 pips, came down, and almost to the pip hit the 1.618 Fibonacci profit target. So excellent areas to use to decide when and where to get out of your trend trades.